Hello everyone, welcome to epicartdesigns.com. If you're not already, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel to see more content like this. And I just want you guys to know that we are now on Patreon. And this is for anyone who want real-time tutorials or have any questions on anything that I'm using or doing. And also, if you want to know the suppliers and equipment that we use and we trust, check us out on there. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We also post content on there as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So guys, if you haven't seen our YouTube short or our TikTok video, I recommend that you pause this video and go ahead and check that out because I'm going to be recreating that animated fire because I got so many questions on it size I'm using for this canvas is 1080 by 1080 pixels but you can use canvas preset Instagram post size it'll all be the same this is not limited to any social platforms um, just make sure that you change up the canvas size to fit any platform that you're putting it on so before I start animating anything I am gonna get my design right because I don't want to do the steps to animate it and then come back and I don't like how my design looks at the moment I'm really into bright colors so I decided to do a gradient and for my gradients I just really type transparent gradients and elements and I choose the one that I want um, I did choose a long one at first but that wasn't looking right so I went ahead and chose a short one I'm now gonna go ahead and put my text and the font that I'm using is actually an uploaded font um, that I got from the thefont.com I will link it in the description below um, but this is it's called flexible I believe yeah flexible and this is a free font as well you can use it for personal use I believe when you get it off the font.com and if you already know how to create a graphic flyer or a promotional flyer go ahead and skip to the end where you see me creating like the custom animations so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch me design this flyer and then I'll get back to you when we're animating <music> And then guys for the smoke a lot of people was asking me where did I get the video for the smoke or where did I get it from the smoke is just really a picture from Canva and I really animated to make it look like it was moving which I'm gonna show you guys how to do okay now that we have the designing out the way I'm gonna go ahead and animate this flyer so what I'm going to do is just select the element that I want animated and I'm going to go to create a, an animation and this is basically your custom animation. So you just want to drag your element to where the starting point you want it to come from and this is my starting point and really I'm just going to drag it over or move it how I want it to show. You can hold shift if you want a straight line and you want it to be steady you can do that. So I'm just going to hold shift and drag it over and we're going to see how that looks. And as you guys can see, the straight line shows. Guys, this is definitely trial and error. Play around with it and see what you like or how you like it to move. So I didn't quite like that. I did want to wiggle and then I'm going to go straight line and we're going to see. So I actually like that. So let's make it smooth. You can either make it smooth or steady. I'm just going to go ahead and make this a steady animation. I mean, I'm sorry, a smooth animation and turn the speed up. And there we go. I like that. That actually quite worked well. And now guys, for my favorite part, I really like doing the smoke. It just brings like, I don't know, it brings something to the design. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to send this layer to the back of this black line so the blunt line won't show through there. And then go ahead and drag your smoke down to the starting line or the starting point where you want it to come from. Mine is the bottom since it will be rising up slowly. And let's go ahead and go to animate and we're going to go to custom animations or create an animation and do the same thing. I'm definitely going to hold shift for this one because I want it to be steady and slow going up. It actually looks really got great guys but I went over that black line so now you see the blunt line in the smoke so I got to redo it. Make sure you're not showing any blunt lines that's going to look really awkward. And lastly go ahead and do your little touches. You can either do smooth, steady and you can speed it up. 
Um, so I'm just gonna animate the rest of this. Um, really just the preset animations that Canva have, pop, uh, burst, anything. You can try each one that you like and see how they work. And for social media, I believe you can download this as a GIF or a MP4 video. Um, if you do it in Square, it will not show up as a reel. So make sure that you do it like in the, that's why I said it's important to have that Square set for that. So if you do it like that, it will not show up as a reel. And that's all for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and you learned how to play with the animations on Canva. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I can get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and you like this video. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We also post content on there as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. That's it guys, don't forget to check out our website. We sell templates on there, prints for frontable programs and all that good stuff. So go ahead and check it out, epickeepsakes.com.